Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get Android Pay working on a rooted device. Now for most devices, it's actually really simple. You just temporarily disable root, then you set up Android Pay, and then you turn root back on. But for Nexus devices, there's an extra step in here which involves relocking your bootloader. Either way, I want to let you know up front that if you're running a custom ROM, Android Pay probably will not be able to work on your device. It's because most custom ROMs are missing some proprietary files that Android Pay relies on. So if you're on your stock ROM and you're not using a Nexus device, or if your bootloader is not unlocked, basically just open up the Super SU app, which is your root management app by the way, and head over to the settings menu. From here, just untick this enable super user option, then run Android Pay, set up your cards, come back right into the same app, and retick that box. It's really that simple. But for Nexus devices with unlocked bootloaders, you don't want to do that part first because you need root for just one more thing real quick. Basically, just head to the Play Store and install a free app called Boot Unlocker for Nexus Devices by developer SegV's Tools, which I have linked out at the full tutorial on Gadget Hacks, by the way. Then once you've got it installed and you've given it super user access, basically you only have to do one thing, which is hit this button right here that says Lock underneath the bootloader status header. Now that you've done that, your bootloader is temporarily locked, and that other trick will actually work for you now. So again, just head to the Settings tab in SuperSU and untick this box next to Enable Super User. It'll take a few seconds to get it all taken care of, but at this point, once that's untick, you're ready to add cards in Android Pay. And I'd show you the setup process to demonstrate that it's working, but that's way too much personal information to put on a YouTube video. Nonetheless, for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.